Hello, it's Skyswars here. Welcome back to our playthrough of Final Fantasy VII. Let's go. Hello, so I hope you enjoyed our little loot last episode. But now it's time to get back on with the main story. We're going to head over to Rocket Town where we're going to collect the final piece of huge materia. Don't ask me how I know that we're going to Rocket Town. I just do. <laughs> I, can't, I can't remember at what point in the story it kind of tells you to go this way. But nah, I guess I've played the game so many times now that I just know without even kind of needing to know why. But this is where we're going. Sid's hometown, no less. So I believe Sid is going to join us for this little bit, kind of automatically. Should we check out his uh, Shira, see if she's still around? I think we need to head off to the rocket, but let's see if Sheer is up to anything. Okay, never mind. She's nowhere to be seen. So we just need to head off to the rocket, I believe. Oh, what's going on? Shinra troops are claiming Sid's rocket. This is Sid's baby. Those terrorists are here. Come on, guys. When are you going to learn your lesson? You just haven't got a chance. Right, let's take out these punks. Oh, they managed to take one hit and survive. Oh, cheeky monkeys, they've sent Vincent to sleep. Oh, what's a grenade gonna do to us? That is pretty embarrassing, boys. Pretty poor. Come on, this is it, lads. That's his last. That's his last turn. It's game over now. He can't stand. He can't stand the double cut of cloud. What's going on then? Don't let them get any further. Everyone, attack! Right, so we'll deal with these little minions. They're just a minor annoyance, really. Ooh, that reminds me. So last episode, um, I showed off Vincent's level 3 limit break, didn't I? Which was the Hell Masker, where he's like a chainsaw serial killer or something crazy. Um, and this time, we're going to... This episode, we're hopefully, if he gets his level, his limit break up, we're going to show off his level 4 limit break. I think it's called Death Chaos. It's called Chaos. Oh, you're not going anywhere. No, nowhere. I think I think you're fine. We are. I mean, it's best you just walk away, mate. Right. Let's get these dealt with quick. This is a slight overkill. <laughs> but we've just given them four. Four shots of ultimate. One probably would, one probably would have done the job. But hey, you know, it's attached to quad. Oh no! The, ch the swines! They've sent Red Thirteen asleep, so he's not going to get to do it. All right then. We'll have to do it the old-fashioned way. With a, a blade to the face. I mean, why are they so weak? They really should have made these guys a bit stronger. I guess it's kind of. They've kept the kind of Shinra troops at a, at a kind of constant, very weak level, I guess. That's them dealt with. Hey, a level up for red. Here he is, city boy. Wait, Cloud. If you're going to kick, though, kick. If you're gonna kick damn Shinra out of my rocket, then take me with you. Okay. Right, so we'll take Vincent with us. Sorry, Red. Leaving you behind, buddy. Nah, it's fine. We're happy to continue. Alright, 
Let's show this Shinra. Damn Shinra. Nah, I'm not even gonna bother equipping Sid and unequipping Red and all that business, because we're not gonna be in any immediate we're not gonna be in any major danger, so Sid can Sid can fend for himself as he is. Although I might just give him that improved weapon that we collected for him last time, actually. What was it? The Spirit Lance. We got that inside the Gelnika. Or Gelnika? I never know how to say it. <laughs> oh, the Tex again. You again? We will eliminate everyone who gets in Shinra's way. What are these guys gonna learn? Can't stop Avalanche. Yeah, so Sid's just gonna be doing regular attacks now, because we haven't bothered equipping anything, but as I say, we're not gonna come across any particularly tough fights or anything, so that's fine. Sid's just along for the ride. He wants to uh, get his his rocket back. Oosh. In fact, I think this might be the very first time we've ever had Sid in our team in the in the playthrough. So yeah, if you haven't seen him before, that's what he looks like. He likes to use a spear or a lance. He is a pretty good character, to be fair, and I really like him as a character. Oh, you swine! He's just healed himself. Oh, five hundred though. What's five hundred gonna do, mate? Is he finally dead? I don't think he is. <laughs> I don't think so, anyway. Hey, a couple of levels up there. Hey, got us. Wow, I think I think he is. I think we finally killed the Turk. God, I, f I feel a bit bad. You, you. Why are you here? Rude of the Turk should have been here. Too bad. Those guys are over there. Oh man, the Turks being done in like that? But I won't let you through. These guys, what can I say? If they keep coming, we'll keep knocking them down. Look at him, I mean, who do you think he is? Trying to take three of us on at once. Bosh, dead in seconds. <laughs> No chance. What is going on? Uh. Hey, is this this is Sid's crew? Hey, what the hell are you guys doing? Hey, just when we thought something was going on, you come back. Listen to me, Captain. We're gonna launch this rocket. Huh? What are you talking about? We're gonna load a materia bomb and in this and blow up Meteor. Our rocket's gonna save the planet. Oh, man, this is so cool. Wait a minute. Shut up. Just shut the hell up. How's the rocket? It's pretty much okay. But, we plan to run it into Meteor on autopilot, but the most important device is broken. Broken? How's the repair going? Shira's doing it. Oh, great. What a bunch of wizards you guys are. She's gonna take a hundred years. I'll take over, so don't worry about the autopilot. Hey, go ahead. Go tell everyone. Alright, Captain. Good luck. What? Sid's gonna fly the his rocket into Meteor. It's a suicide mission. Hey, Sid, what are you doing? There are generations of knowledge and wisdom inside the Materia. We're gonna borrow their powers and save the planet from Sephiroth. There's no way that we can lose that huge Materia. You understand that, right? Yeah, I understand. I understand that Materia is precious. And I also understand what you're thinking. But listen. I don't give a rat's ass whether it's science or magical power. No. I guess if I had to choose, I'd rather put my money on the power of science. Humans are used to only roam around on the ground are able to fly now. 
Finally, we're about to go into outer space. Science is a power, created and developed by humans. And science just might be what saves this planet. I was able to earn my living thanks to science. So to me, there's nothing greater. Now quit your worrying about what Shin is gonna do. I don't want to regret not having done something later. But Sid... Shut the hell up! I don't want to hear it! Alright, time to get to work. Anyone who ain't involved, get the hell out of here. What the hell? What the hell happened? Hey, hey! That's Palmer. Palmer! What the hell did you do? They said they finished repairing the autopilot, so I launched it. Goddamn Shara! Why'd she pick today to get fast? Damn, won't even budge. It's completely locked up. Hey, 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 almost lift off. What the? No countdown? Just don't seem the same without it. Hey, 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 blast off. The hell? Thanks for that, Palmer. I guess Sid's finally gonna get his dream of going into outer space. Taking off the town with it? Finally made it out of space. Let's see, how's the course set? Yep, it's headed for a collision course with Meteor. We're in space now, a long rest. These guys are pretty calm considering we're heading straight to oblivion. That damn Palmer went out of his way to lock the autopilot device. We ni might not be able to change the course. This is the end? Huh? What the hell are you saying? You're still young, and you give up that easily? I'm not gonna crash in a meteor. Ah, oh, I love Sid. I love this music. Just watch. I keep an esca escape pod on the rockets, just for emergencies like this. I deciphered the lock code on the escape pod. We'll bail right before we crash in a meteor. And the remaining question is what to do with the huge material. If you want the material, do whatever you want. The material should be there after you climb that ladder. You sure? I don't know. I know what I said a minute ago. Maybe all that I really wanted was to just go into outer space. So why don't you all do whatever you think is right? Right. Okay. So this is our chance, our one and only chance to get the fourth huge materia. Now don't forget, I said that all of these huge materials were optional. You can miss any of them. And if you do, you'll miss out on getting the final summon in the game. I finally found the huge materia. Structured so that the lock can be opened if we enter the passcode from this control panel. There's the control panel. Should we try to operate? Enter passcode. Hey, Cloud. You know how to use it, right? Every time it says enter passcode, push one of those buttons. If you punch in the right code, it'll unlock, and you can get the huge materia. So what order am I supposed to enter the passcode in? I don't know. Just try and punch in the code randomly. Enter passcode 1. 
So yeah, so what you're supposed to do here is kind of enter a random code and then it'll say how many of the digits you got correct. And then you can kind of use that to try and figure out the code very quickly. You don't get much time at all. Thankfully, I know what the code is. So it's circle and square X and X again. Password confirmed. Identified as an authorized user. Unlocked. This is the what? This is the one huge material that, as a kid, would oh, I'd always end up missing because I'd always mess up the password bit. Whoa, pretty good. You got the password in a single try. You must have known the passcode. If not, it's impossible. I did know the password, Sid. That I did. We've got the huge material now. Let's get in that escape pod and get out of here. Yeah, so that was always the one huge materia that I'd always me mess up when I was a kid. Right, let's see if we can find his escape pod. Whoa! Shira still aboard? Grr. Damn, my leg's stuck in the debris. Sid? No, I can't lift it. Don't worry about me. Hurry up and go. If you don't hurry, the rocket's gonna crash in a meteor. I can't go without my friends. You damn, no time to worry about other people. I'm gonna do whatever I can. You're stupid. You're really damn stupid. She is, Sid. <laughs> tank number eight blew up. So tank number eight really was malfunctioning. Shira, you were right. All that time she spent trying to fix tank number eight because she was convinced there was a fault. This is the end for me. Don't say that, Sid. Huh? Sure. I tagged along. I'm coming to help you. You stupid. <laughs> sorry. Wow, Sid finally said sorry to Sheer. She really did save his bacon on multiple occasions. The escape pod is this way. Please hurry. So all those time, all that time where she was fiddling with tank number eight because she knew there was a fault with it. She was right. She saved his life. And then she came again to save his life now. Hurry. I'm going to detach the escape pod. Hey, Shira. Does this pod really fly? It'll be okay. I've been checking it till now. Then I'm relieved. Thanks. Escape pod evacuated. Back off to Earth. So, this is out of space. Man, it's the real thing. I'm really here in outer space. So long, Shinra number 26. Ah, oh, what a view. So, we still got that rocket surging towards Meteor. Hopefully, I mean, look at the size of the rocket compared to Meteor, hoping to kind of destroy it. I mean, it is packed with other materia, not just the huge materia. So direct hit. There's Cosmo Canyon, and we just saw Midgar. Oh. 
Bogenhagen. What do you think? Has it stopped me, Zio? Doesn't look like it. Has, it. has it damaged it a bit? Broken it up at least a little bit? It seems to be absorbing everything around it and just getting larger and larger. Nah, it's not done any good. I mean, at least Shinra, for once, we're trying to do, <laughs> we're trying to do something good. It's not worked. Rufus and the others' plan was a failure. What a bust. But I kinda hoped it'd work. We've been bothering them as much as we can. But there ain't no other way. Wonder if we've been wrong all this time. Makes you worry, doesn't it? Don't worry. Think. Hey, the girl's right. You start worrying and there's no stopping it. Things start just falling apart and get worse and worse. Pretty damn optimistic. You up to something? Yeah, I've been thinking about this and that. All the time we've been up here looking at the planet. I've been thinking even when we were floating in the ocean in that escape pod. I've been thinking too. About the universe planet, ocean, how wide and big. No matter where I go and what I do, it won't change a thing. Maybe you're right. But I came up with something different. I always thought this planet was so huge, but looking at it from space, I realized, realized it's so small. We're just floating in the dark, kind of makes you feel powerless. On top of that, it's got Sephiroth festering inside like a sickness. That's why I say this planet's still a kid. A little kid sick and trembling in the middle of this huge universe. Someone's gotta protect it. You follow me? That someone is us. Sid, that's beautiful. Yo, Sid, he even got to me. Do now what? How are we going to protect the planet from Meteor? What a lead. <laughs> Sid's a great leader, isn't he? He really gets people going. I'm still thinking about that. <laughs> what a guy. Huh? Did you hear something? The planet scream, or meteor. Is it the planet? Hey, how do we know that this is really the planet scream? Did you forget? Bugenhagen told us. Bugenhagen. Let's go see, Grandfather. To Cosmo Canyon. I'm sure he'll be able to tell us something that will be helpful. Right then. We've got a new destination. Cosmo Canyon it is. Let's set our set sail. Let's go. 
Right, so we've collected the fourth and final huge materia. And we're going to end it there for today. So next time we're going to go and visit Bugenhagen in Cosmo Canyon. And find out what we can possibly do to try and stop Meteor. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Leave a thumbs up if you did. And I will see you next time. Bye bye. If you're going to kick though, kick. <laughs>